Tonight for dinner, I am making American chop suey, a popular meal with elbow macaroni pasta. It is made with half of a chopped onion, half of a green chopped bell pepper, two tablespoons of butter, a four ounce can of mushrooms that have been drained, a pound of 80% to 20% ground beef, two cups of my homemade tomato sauce, which you can watch how to make on my channel this meal this time, and two cups or a half of a pound of macaroni or pasta. I am using elbow macaroni. As you can see, there are several cooking pans on my stove top. Two saucepans. One to brown the ground beef and one in which I will saute the vegetables in butter and then will eventually become my main pan for simmering everything together. Then there is a pan where my sauce is being kept warm. The other one is for boiling water in which the pasta will cook until it is drained and added to the main saucepan. I start by adding the chopped onions into the main saucepan. I toss in the chopped green peppers and then the drained mushrooms. I just love that sizzling sound. I stir and saute the vegetables and add a little more butter, making sure that the vegetables do not become caramelized. This means that the sugars in the vegetables break down and will become less moist and turn brown in color and begin sticking to the pan. Some recipes call for this caramelization process, but that is not what I am seeking here. I now work on browning the ground beef, making sure the large pieces of ground beef are really broken down. I want to get as much fat out of the beef as I can. As the beef browns, you will begin to see the fat and liquids drain from the beef. I will ladle out almost all of this liquid, leaving a small amount for its flavor. This is really a process of multitasking, keeping an eye on the vegetables while browning the ground beef. These cooking smells are fantastic. And the sound of the vegetables and beef sizzling are great together. This is one of the reasons why I love cooking. Now, back to the ground beef. As you can see, the browning process is slow. That is fine because I want the beef to be tender. The beef is nearly done and I can see the liquids forming within the saucepan. I am keeping an eye on my vegetables. Pretty soon I will start the pan filled with water. Once the water begins to boil, I will add the elbow macaroni. Now you can see the liquids coming from the browned ground beef. I will get a heat proof bowl in which I will use a ladle to drain the liquids from the ground beef. Be careful here. As you can see from the saucepan, that liquid is really hot. I put the drained liquids off to the side and out of the way. Now you can really hear the beef sizzling on the stove. Time to shut off the burner and add the ground beef to my main pan that the vegetables have been sauteed. This is really coming together so well. Now it's time to mix well together the ground beef and vegetables. I will turn up the heat on the water pan and get ready to boil the elbows.
The homemade tomato sauce is doing just fine and the water is starting to boil. So, in goes the sauce in the main cooking pan. I will make sure that the sauce covers well all of the ingredients in the recipe so far. Don't forget to watch my This Meal This Time YouTube channel to see how I make this homemade tomato sauce. I will leave a link in the description. I will cover the main pan and let the ingredients simmer on low heat together while I wait for the macaroni water to boil. Once I put the macaroni in the boiling water, I will let it cook for about 12 minutes so that it is just slightly underdone. I want the elbows to finish cooking completely within the beef, sauce, and vegetables. The macaroni will help to thicken slightly the sauce. Just look and listen to those cooking sounds. I am starting to get really hungry for dinner. In goes the macaroni and we are almost done with this delicious American chop suey recipe. I will salt slightly the macaroni water. Meanwhile, the sauce, beef and vegetables are getting close for the next step. The macaroni is done and I will now add it to the main cooking pan. I make sure everything is incorporated very well. This dish will now cook together for another 10 minutes. It is almost done. While I wait for the American chop suey to finish cooking, I will start to clean up the pans and dishes in the sink. Everything is done and the sink is clean. Now to set the table and enjoy this meal. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so very much for taking the time to watch my video. See you next time.